Hey guys, so I my name's Erin, and right now I'm going to be talking to you guys about different ways to study the Bible. So if you're anything like me, sometimes studying the Bible seemed overwhelming. There's just so many books and so many chapters. I never really knew where to start. Um, so I have a couple different ways you can study the Bible and some tips to go along with them. So the first way is called the chapter study. So this is simple. It's just taking um, one chapter at a time out of the Bible and reading it all the way through. Um, this is really easy because you just keep a book bookmark and you know exactly where to read every day until that book is finished. You don't necessarily have to start at Genesis and read all the way through. You can flip-flop all around the Bible wherever um, you see fit. So a couple good books to start in if you don't know where to start. Um, John, the Gospel of John is really good because it's about Jesus and his ministry along with the other Gospels, but I feel like John is a really good place to start. The book of Romans is also really good. Um, it just gives you a clear understanding of the gospel and it builds your confidence in your faith. Um, the book of Romans is also, not Romans, sorry, Proverbs <laughs> is really good too because it just gives you a lot of biblical knowledge and day-to-day -day advice that we can actually use. And also I like that one because it's only 31 chapters, so you can read one every day of the month and then be finished at the end of the month, so it works. <laughs> the other, um, the second way to study is called a topical study. So this is um, nice because you can just look at one topic. So this is best if you go on Google or BibleGateway.com and just write um, Bible verses that deal with blank. Maybe you want to learn about anxiety or love or friendship, or you just want to learn about a topic and see what the Bible has to say about it. So this is good because it takes Bible verses from all over the Bible into one spot so you can compare and contrast about different um, Bible verses and really see what the Bible has to say about a certain topic. The next um, way is called the word study. This is similar to the topic study, but it's more specific for just one word. So um, like for example, the word love, we have one word for love, but in Greek, there's like four words for love or something like that. Like there's a lot more words that could mean something else. So if you see the word love in something, you might wanna go back and see what the Greek version or the original version of the text was. It could be Greek, Aramaic, or Hebrew, you never know, um, depending on where it is in the Bible. But anyways, you can go back and see what the original text was and compare it to um, our language now, because it might like look different, you know? Like what love was they talking about in that um, specific verse or chapter or whatever. Um, and you can do this for any word you see. Like I did this on steadfast. I was like, that's a really cool, cool word that we don't use today. What does it mean? So I looked at a bunch of different Bible verses that said steadfast and I learned a lot about it. All right, the next one is called um, character study. So this is taking a character from the Bible that you're interested about. So maybe it's going back and we did Daniel a couple months ago. So you go back and learn about Daniel or maybe Ruth or Paul or someone like that. And this is more of an extensive one. You wouldn't just do this for like 10 minutes before you go to bed. No, this is like more um, over a period of time you would learn about this person. So uh, find a person that interests you and learn everything you can about them, where they're from, where they live currently or currently in the Bible times, um, who their family is, what their occupation was, how God worked through them, because these are real people that lived 2,000 plus years ago. It, it, they're not just made up people. So I feel like learning about them individually as people just gives so much more life to the scripture that we're reading. And then the last one I have is verse by verse analysis. And this is also a really good way to study the Bible because sometimes I feel like if we read a bunch of scripture at one time, we like don't get to see a bunch of really good details that are in the middle that we just like read over. So if you take one verse or a handful of verses and just read it over and over again and just meditate on it, pray about it, God will show you something you probably wouldn't have noticed if you were reading it in a, um, a whole chapter. And then I have a couple like tips for you guys. Um, there's an acronym, it's called SOAP. It stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. So first, Scripture. After you read, just remind yourself, okay, what Scripture did I just read? What were some of the key verses that I really liked? Then you go on to Observation. Okay, what just happened in the story that I just read? 
where was God in this story or Jesus if you're reading a gospel? And then you move on to application. All right, now that I know what I read and I understand it, how can I apply this to my life? Because why are we reading the Bible if we're not going to apply it to our lives, right? So we have to make sure we know how to apply. And then finally, prayer. Just pray to God. Thank him so much for just the people that you just read about and how 2,000 plus years later, um, we can read about these things that were true and that happened and just thank him for his word. And I pray to him that he will reveal to um, reveal you something about that passage you just read. And then the last tip that I have is set a routine. Sometimes it's chaotic if you're just trying to squeeze in five minutes of Bible time somewhere throughout your day because then you forget or you're like, oh, I can do it later. Um, but routine is everything. I feel like um, as soon as I have made myself a routine for the Bible, um, I've just been reading it so much more. So pick a specific place and a specific time, if you can, to read the Bible, and it'll just help you so much, I'm sure. Um, for me, that's at my desk in my room at night, right before I go to bed, because I know that no one is going to be in my room, around me, bothering me. And since it's right before I go to bed, I have as much time as I want just to sit there, pray, read, and just be with God. And I don't have to worry about what's happening next later in the day, because it's right at night. So yeah. Those are some different ways you can read the Bibles and some tips. I pray that you guys try all five of these and see which one works best for you. And yeah, have a great rest of the camp.